Hi. Hello, everyone. Welcome again uh, in this series of Azure DevOps Learning. So today I'm going to share a very short video how we can set a sprint in Azure DevOps, like how can we start a sprint in Azure DevOps. So this is the sample project that I have set up in Azure DevOps Labs and uh, it is a Scrum Project 2023. If I click on the overview from left navigation, so we can see the project details here. And now mm -hmm. there are some work items which have already been defined. So if I click on the boards here, so there are some stories. I mean, let, let's view it as a back backlog. So we can see, you know, there is a epic here, which consists of one feature. And uh, so this is the structure, you know, which is uh, defined right now. We have an epic, we have a feature. Within the user login feature, we have two product backlog items, uh, which are nothing but the user stories. Uh, one login user story having task and then forgot username user story. So now let's click on the sprints from the left navigation. So let us say there is a team who wants to start a sprint uh, from today, which is 21st of March, and uh, they want to run or execute a two weeks of a sprint in Azure DevOps, right? So <clears throat> all they have to do is, you, we can see on the right side, there is set dates, and it is showing currently that there is no sprint defined. We have this uh, team's backlog, which consists of some initial you know, work items. So in order to start the very first sprints, all we have to do is click on the set dates. So this is the sprint one. In case if someone wants to change to sprint one to iteration one, we can you know, allow, change the name here. Now the start date is going to be, we want to start, let's say from 21st and it is going to be two weeks. That means it will end on third. Okay, so if I simply click on save and close, so this is how my sprint one is now active. So it is showing me like, you know, I started my sprint one on 21st, it will end on 3rd of April. So 10 working days is, you know, a two weeks of a sprint. Now uh, we can uh, define or we can, you know, pull some of the items, you know, if we have to do the sprint planning as part of it. So all we can do is, uh, let's go back to the backlogs and uh, you know what we can do is we can open the planning from the view options so this will uh, you know give us the planning view like you know what iterations we have defined or do we have any future iterations so let's say the team wants to do this particular uh, pbi which is the login so all they have to do is you know just drag it back to the sprint one Okay, and similarly, like this particular uh, PBI, it's a forgot username. If they want to do, like they can uh, again do the dragging. So this is how you know they can you know pull the work from the backlog to the sprint backlog. Okay, so this is uh, how like it will define like you know a sprint one consists of two user story. It consists of four tasks. Okay, and when the teams are doing the planning, I mean as part of it, you know if they want to come up with a you know, creating a new task, they can always do it from here. Let's say, uh, forward username UI, and this is a task, and it is going to take, let's say, six hours. We can save and close. So it will define our task here. And similarly, if you want to define another one, we can say forward username API, the logic, and it may might take a day's time, which is eight hours. So we can define our tasks, something like that, right? And if you go back to the sprints, so we can see, you know, uh, these are the two user stories. And if we simply see, I mean, these are the initial set of tasks. So this was kind of a very brief that uh, how we can, uh, you know, set up a sprint in Azure DevOps. I mean, if we have to start a very new sprints and then, you know, uh, I will have a separate video, like an, a very detailed one on, which I will share my thoughts on, you know, how we do the sprint planning using Azure DevOps, like what are the things that, you know, needs to be taken into account. But this was more about, you know, setting up the sprints, which we can, which we have seen in this particular video. So thanks everyone. Thank you for watching this brief video.